Not like it'll make much of a difference. I'll finally get into 3100 health. Of course. You're a fucking asshole. Ah. Uh, one second later and I would have been able to hit them. But no. Can't have that. There we go. Oh god, the doggos. Right, well I've nearly got 100k to play with, which should be more than enough. What the hell hit me? Oh, he has a spear. Oh. Whoosh! Nice. There we go. Now I do have over 100k. We will be fine. Yeah, I'm just gonna upgrade the Twilight Claw and just see. Not like it really matters. I don't mind this, honestly. It's more the fact that the Twilight Claw has much better scaling for strength. Much better scaling for strength. Yeah, I have 113,000 to play with. Alrighty. Well, we're in the end game, finally. It's been a long time coming. This is the 10th session, so... I don't actually know how how long I've played Code Vein for. I mean, not every session was two hours, so because it's not been 20 hours, it's been more. Not every session was three hours, and I know I've had... I've had at least two or three sessions that are four hours plus. So that's 12 hours. I've probably... it's probably between 30 and 40 hours, to be honest. Yeah. Weirdly enough, I think Code Vein's actually going to end up being longer than Sekiro, and shorter than all of the Souls games. Well, Dark Souls 2 was 76 or 77 parts, Dark Souls 3 was 75 or 76 parts, and Dark Souls 1 was 65? I think? I don't remember. Okay. What can I buy from you? Oh. What do you want to upgrade? Not my weapons. Ah. Which blood veil do you want to upgrade? Twilight Claw. I have enough. Now I don't. Make sure you I'm just gonna buy ten of everything. Stock up. Hex shit. Yeah. Buh, 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 buy. I got it. Oh, did I put that fortification thing? I can't remember if I have. Did I put? Which blood veil do you want to transform? Yeah, I was gonna put this into that because it would still, I would not weigh much at all. Uh, but it's really good for strength. Hmm. Which weapon do you want to transform? Ah, I did make it. Crap. Make sure. Yakumo! Where are you? Oh, of course you're over here. On the plus side, I'm not going to sit next to him when I try and talk to him. What's up? Ha! Nice. I need to give him stuff. Um, shit. I don't remember what you like. Cigars. Candy. Board game. Tools. Gun parts. I doubt that would be for you. I have no idea. Yeah, I only have two points. Shoot. Want a sandwich? I like how tomato Odin sandwiches taste, but I always make a mess of them. I'll have to make sure I don't drip when I eat this. Yeah, don't worry, I can handle it. I wouldn't want to waste even a drip of such a kind gift. That um, uh, that sounded a bit odd. Whoa! It feels like a garlic bulb is crawling up my nose. It's pretty good once you actually get it in your mouth. The hard part's getting past the scent barrier. <laughs> I feel a bit bad taking this, since I'm not a big fan, but I'll accept. So that was one point. Crap. I need... I have eight cameras. Thanks. There we go, seven. Thanks. Nine. 
and flower seeds. This has some value, right? I'm not sure I can figure out what to do with it, but... <laughs> there we go. Finally, I can buy the chrome. I thought he had run out. Ooh. That'd have okay. been horrible. Let's get moving. You can probably get it from one of the, like, Don't depths, forget. but, eh, whatever. Let's upgrade first. Which blood veil do you want to upgrade? Twilight Claw! Ba-da-dun. There we go. I have 16 titanium. <whistles> One, four, five, five. Oh wow, it's way better. What about gifts? 322, 322. So 322 on both fronts. 304, 304. And the defense is better, I think. I really hope it's Make better sure on all fronts. Oh my god, I might actually be able to normal roll. Oh no, I would normal roll anyway, wouldn't I? Everything's better except for blood and re my resistance to ice. Yeah. Grain rating is slightly worse, but everything else is better. Yay! I think this is the claw. Alright, transform it. Which weapon do you Not want my to weapon. God. Which blood veil do you want to transform? Oh yeah. No, because I can actually do this. It makes it slightly heavier, but it won't put me over the threshold. Oh, there we go. It increases balance, my defense by a little bit. Yeah, there you go, mobility. Because if I tried making what I'd actually done at one at one point was made this fortified, and as you'll notice, mobility for weapon one goes to slow because my um it makes it 4 points heavier, which would put my weight at 27.8. So just over half. But that's not the case with Twilight Claw. Haha! -ha, very nice. Good shit. Wahoo! Awesome. Make sure you get back safe. Alright, well there's no else to do now, is there? Uh, aside from beat the game. Huh. Weird. It's been a long time coming. Well, we're finally here. I should actually equip some. I've, I've had anti-slow here for so long. Just thinking how I can actually do this. I'd probably like regen inducer. Then that. Then pure blood as a last resort. What the hell is this? Oh, the needle of unity that I don't need. Hmm. Oh, I thought I had more of these. What the fuck? Uh, this actually shows all the stuff I've picked up. Wow. Oh my god. Ridiculous. Jesus. Hey, from Yakimo, because I've been real nice. Okay, we only have one choice. The Jail of the Stagnant Blood. Watch this be a complete pushover, because I've had to do the DLC. <laughs> I mean, I say had to, I didn't have to. But yeah, I have a feeling that the DLC is going to be easier. Yeah, not DLC. God. The final boss isn't going to be all that bad because I've done the DLC. And also just because I leveled up a bunch. Not like I had to, but I didn't want to be banging my head against Hellfire Knight for, you know, several hours. I don't even know how long I spent on the bloody thing, in all honesty. Let's, make it a Let's find day. out. Cutscene time! Mm. So where actually is Silver? Because I know he wasn't here, he transformed and left. Oh. Oh! What the hell? Oh my god, this looks like Garo. Pretty sure that was the anime. It's literally Garo. Oh my god, incredible. It's Garo if he wielded two swords. What the? Hey! 
I don't have that anymore. What does my Twilight cape look like? I never really paid attention. Whoops. I'm not going to be going for a parry. I actually did get a bit ballsy with the previous veil, because parrying was actually viable and easy. Yeah, and I've got the flaw back. It's purple, though. I love it. Skull King. Oh, my. Holy shit. Can I backstab? I don't know. Okay. How am I supposed to avoid these? Every attack he does fucking hits me. I figured that was going to be the case. Yeah, I don't know if I can get a parry. No, not parry, a backstab. Oh, I wanted to do my... my big attack. Oh god. Yeah, go for Eo. Good boy. I think I missed. Oh dear. Come on. Yeah, I got him. Nice. Oh dear. That was not so nice. That doesn't do much. We got him! Nice. Great, lost, dispersed. Argent Wolf King's Blade. Hmm. So there's one. Now what? Defeat the Skull King in the Jail of the Stagnant Blood. Oh. Uh, okay. So that's what happened to Silver. Oh damn, we're all here. Okay, that cape's pretty badass. It's purple on the inside, so I love it. Oh, of course you're not dead. No. Silver has lost control of the relic. What's wrong? Uh oh. Silver's Okay. Oh god. Oh, so he's gonna transform even more now. Great! Oh, they just got sucked right in. Oh no. I mean, three relics caused him to turn into Garo. What the hell is Seven gonna make him turn into? Alright, he just nuked the planet. Nice. That was quite nice. That's his transformation blast. Oh, god. Ooh. What the hell is this? Ew. It's got little faces. Thanks, I... Ugh. I hate it. Ugh. Great. No, I refuse to let the world end here. Oh, that's my character talking. I will stop this. Holy shit, I talk. It's kind of like the Persona 5 protagonist where he has one line. Ew, that's so nasty. Like six arms. Actually, no, it's got four arms. Is it four? Is it only two arms? I'm confused. I can't tell. 
Because obviously it's walking on its legs. Maybe it's got four legs and two arms. Yeah, they could be arms. Okay, you have ridiculous range. Okay, you do have ridiculous range. Oh, right, nice. I have a feeling that if I lose here, I've got to do this all again. I can't fucking- oh my god. I- okay, this is a stupid fight. What the fuck? <laughs> How do we make a final boss? Yeah, just make it as big as you fucking can. We don't want the player to succeed against it. Ew, what the hell did that just shoot at me? Jesus Christ. I may die. Nice. Crap. I just got crushed. What the hell is he here doing? I was about to say I don't know what the fuck this thing's doing. I didn't do anything. Mm -hmm. God, the camera is such an ass. <laughs> Oh, the fuck? Your blood. Full heal. Yeah, I figured as much. Oof. Oof. Double oof. Uh oh. I can't be revived, can I? Fuck. No! I was so close. Motherfucker. I've, I've really opened up to do the School King. And then that. Hmm. I don't. Ha! I was Good. Waiting for you. I don't care then. I now actually have a full, full stack of stuff. See, at least it was kind of nice. Still really stupid with how they did it though. Like, they just made a boss incredibly big. Yes, I know I don't. God, shut up. God. Right, heal me, please. Oh, don't. Okay, good. She died. Well, this isn't gonna work. Nice. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna take that. Actually, fuck it. Boom. Instead of waiting for death, it's easier to just do that. Works just as well. Except I don't need to worry about losing his. Even if I did, who cares? Do I have enough to level up? Oh, needed to level up. So basically, no. I don't have enough. Ah, oh, man. That sucks. <laughs> okay, we're off to a fantastic start. You absolute bitch. Nice. I thought it was going to try and crush me. Oh, nice. 10,000 damage.
I don't know how I'm supposed to avoid that. Honestly. I could maybe just block. That might work. Blocking works. Oh. I was trying to use my, like, big attack. Oh, shit. And I completely miss. And I win! Oh. And I win! Fuck. And I win! Eight, 182,000? Holy crap. Yeah, when you have a full stack, that is a trivial fight. But going straight from the Skull King, straight into it, is a lot harder. <laughs> I'm kind of glad they didn't pull a Sekiro, though. In the sense that, if you did die, you had to do the Skull King and then this. The, fir uh, the Virgin Born. Get owned, you bitch! Oh, shoot! I completely forgot about the messages. We don't have a lot of time. Hey, kid, can you handle this? Fuck. I didn't. Oh, God, never mind. It won't have to matter, I guess. inside of my heart and I promise I will never allow them to fade away whatever happens I will always be with you just as you will always be within my heart she's coming on strong Hmm? Oh, she took it all on. Oh, damn. That's a lot of relics. I mean, she is an attendant of the relics, so it makes sense. Wait, why is there only one in me? There should be like three of them.
Oh man, there's so many. Ah, oh, God, I hate the fact that I missed the... I forgot to put the vestige together. Yeah. Like, it never even occurred to me. Son of a bitch. What the hell? Oh! And yeah, this is the, I believe, neutral ending. Ow. So it's not a bad ending, and it's not a good ending, I guess. It's because I didn't, um, restore the memory of the ribcage. Oh well. Hmm. Is she actually in that then, or what? Oh, I guess not. She became a tree! Reminds me of the end of, uh... What the hell? Reminds me of the end of Sodom Manor. Yeah. Where the girl becomes the manor tree. What the hell? That's huge! I can't believe I didn't put the bloody vestige together. I suppose I can look at what goes into New Game Plus. In, oh, there we go. New game plus what? There we go. What carries over? Return map clearance. Ooh. What doesn't? Ah, oh, for fuck me. Vestiges disappear. Son of a bitch. What about the DLC? <laughs> Oh well. I might just have to say screw it and be like, eh. Oh well. Unless the game does a nice thing where it puts me... ...just before she got turned into a tree. But I doubt it. God damn it. I just didn't even think. It doesn't matter, I guess. There's a few cutscenes about a character we never knew, so... Now that is a fancy looking blood bead. Is it one that never runs out? Damn. She grew into a big old tree. So yeah, I guess she became the... the new source of blood beads. Humans? Oh. Interesting. Hmm. So what happens now? Is it just roll credits or something else? I can't believe I forgot about the bloody vestige. I mean, if, if the vestige is carried over, I could always play until I can, you know put them together, but that doesn't happen for a while now that I think about it. I don't think so? So, yeah, maybe not such a good idea. Ah, <sighs> man. I'm just annoyed at myself. Yeah. Son of a bitch. Oh well. You win some, you lose some. I just, yeah, I was not really focused on it at all. There we go. Son of a fuck. Eo! Oh! Wait, who's that? Oh! Wait a minute. I plan to start research with Aurora. That will hopefully lead to methods for controlling thirst and revenants. I don't know if we'll ever find an answer, but I'm sure it will lead to better lives in the jail of the mists. It would be nice if Louis could work with us. Hmm. So Aurora, that's um. We finally secured a steady oh, that's Karen. Blood beads. Once again, oh. we have Eo to thank. 
his sister. On the day she took all of the relics, I was suddenly my old self again. And ever mm. since then, she's been producing blood beads and even maintaining the red mist. So even if it's only a little, I want to make it so people can have normal lives in this world she's protecting for us. That's my wish. Hmm. All the power was sucked right out of my body. I was so big and strong. But now look at me. <laughs> but now Jack's training me to grow strong again. Nice. I don't see Mia as much as I used to, but I always feel close to her, even when we're apart. I think it's because we respect each other so much now. Oops. All the power was but now I don't see me as I think it's because we respect each other so much now. I miss her. But a knight has his duty. Hm. Oh my god, duty again. Stop with the duty. Make with the duty. This garbage heap may just have become a slightly better garbage heap. That means people have less use for what I'm selling. <laughs> I'm only joking. What happened to what's her face? Don't worry about me. Do your thing, okay? Emily. That was her name. Oh, she's here. Okay, good. Wait, so did I... Did I save all of them? I don't know. Because there's a... Aurora was the ribcage, right? I'm so confused. I've looked through documents from the Great Collapse. And the more I read, the more I understand why those creatures are called horrors. They're immune to even the most powerful weapons, and immortal like the loss that plagued the Jail of the Mists. Now I understand why revenants had to be created. The situation was that dire. And the horrors are still roaming the outside world. It must be incredibly difficult living out there. Mm. Alright, so now we have all these. The relic's power created the weeping tree. Thanks to Eo's wish, and there's no sign of the Queen coming back. It must have taken a strong will. We are ordinary revenants without the power of the relics, but our mission still remains. As long as I live, I will continue to watch over that power, together with Jack. Hmm. There are no changes in the Weeping Tree. It's completely normal. Don't worry. If anything happens, I swear I'll do everything in my power to stop it. Meanwhile, it's time we both do what we need to. My mission as a Watcher has ended, but my duty to protect the world still remains. I won't allow the hell here to escape and torment those outside. Oh wait, we have Rin. Is that amber blood bead Eo gave you alright? It's a piece of her memory, and a manifestation of her strength. Handle it with care. Karen and the others say it's made of the same substance as the weeping tree Eo gave us, after taking on all the relics. It has the ability to alter the relic's influence, if only in a small way. Hmm. Uh, okay. The lost are still a dire threat to the survival of humanity, but the new provisional government is at last on a course to stop them. Silva is pushing reforms to aid as many revenants as possible. I can finally get to the job of exploring the depths in earnest. You've been a great help. I must thank you. Hey. Oh. Oops. The lost. I oh, I nearly forgot. I have a message for you. Uh, the provisional government would appreciate your cooperation. Please contact the government if you seek work with real meaning. Uh, okay. Today I invited Yakumo to work for the provisional government, but he turned me down outright. Sorry, but just like you've got things you want to do, I've got things I want to do too. Did I speak to Louis? Yeah, he hasn't changed a bit. <laughs> well, I didn't want to work for them at first either. After a while of fighting to survive, I noticed I'd made a bunch of friends along the way. And here I am, stuck with them. But I guess they're all pretty great, so I don't regret it at all. Hmm. I'm glad to see that things have calmed down.